Welcome one and all, I am Technivorous here to remind you, make sure you reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button down there and give the notification bell a good first layer squish. That way you can get notified every time we put up a new 3D printing and tech video. That being said, today's video is brought to you by Weeble. Check the description down below for a link that will help you get 12 free stocks when you sign up and fund your account with Weeble today. And now that we've got all of that hullabaloo out of the way, let's get into the reason that you've all showed up here today, which is this plugin or extension for Kira. So this is easily found in the marketplace. If you don't know how to do that, check out my other videos. It will, I have plenty showing how to access the marketplace. Basically, you just click right here, type what you're looking for, download it, reload Kira, blah, blah, blah. Today, we are looking at parts for calibration. Now, there are a ton of these, so I kind of wanted to go through and select a couple just to see what we get. So let's start with the bridge test because that was one of the ones I was curious about. Click add bridge test and there it is a bridging test. Now this is at different heights obviously that doesn't really matter what we're looking for is the different lengths to see how far we can bridge without any issues so very very handy test. Let's check out some of the other ones because we can do multiple tests at the same time so, parts for calibration. Let's also add a acceleration tower. This is going to slice at different acceleration rates for different heights and give you an idea of how fast you can actually print. Now, in most cases, you're not really going to want to print these both together because altering the speed and acceleration at different heights of the G-code is going to alter your test results here. So um, that's not one that we can really do together, and it is a fairly large model, but it is an interesting one to see and definitely one to check out. Let's see what else they have in here. Parts for calibration. Should be able to do a retraction test, no problem. It's putting that right in the way. Uh, Generally, uh, this is going to show you how much stringing you get using different retraction settings. Now, um, I don't want to cause stringing between this and my other models because I want to be able to read them clearly, so I'm actually not going to alter the retraction either. So that, again, is a model you're probably going to want to print separately. Let's see what else we can add to the build plate. Parts for calibration. We could add a calibration cube very easily. Did not mean to add the temp tower. Get out of here. Extensions. Part for calibration. Okay, let's add a calibration cube. We'll drag that over there. We can easily print both of these together and get good results. And let's see what else. Part for calibration. Uh, thin wall test I think we should be able to do. So let's grab that and we'll drag that out of here so it's printable. And let's see what else is in here. How about a hole test? Tolerance test is nice as well. We might throw one of those in here. Alright, I think that's enough. I think that demonstrates exactly what this is for. So by testing all of these models, by printing them, by measuring them and comparing their accuracy to what they're supposed to be, you can use different techniques to dial in and set your printer to the perfect settings to get the best possible quality and the fastest possible speed. That is what they call the, the apex of printer capability and in order to find that it takes some dialing in so this is definitely an extension worth checking out I do have another video available where I actually print these models you're gonna have to stay tuned because it's not up yet but it will be in the coming days so make sure that you did what I told you at the beginning of this video and reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button down there that's gonna be it for this one guys we will see you in the next one thanks for stopping by Technivorous out